So, hello everyone. I will tell you something about uh, Open Rayos and Vue. Um, my name is Jakob Mix. You can find me at some place in the internet. And uh, yeah, I work at Citicom. We have an internal GIS where we use uh, Open Layers and Vue. And so I extracted a little library about it. Uh, just an overview, what is a uh, view and open layers. So a uh, Vue.js is a JavaScript uh, front-end framework, which gives you the structure of your website. It has a quite wide adoption. So React is probably the most popular one, but then maybe Vue is the second one. Um, it has reactive data binding. Uh, it's component-based and a very big ecosystem for libraries and uh, everything else. Then what is Open Layers? Um, it's a library for rendering geodata in the web browser. It's also quite feature-rich, uh, so it has batteries included, so a lot of features are directly built in, supports many formats, many projections, and is uh, um, ideal for uh, feature-rich uh, web GIS uh, applications. Then uh, how is the, the state uh, um, stored in Vue.js, because uh, that's what I, I wanted to combine both libraries, and they both have a different way how to store their state. So uh, I wanted to find out how, how it works and how I com can combine it. So in Vue.js, every component um, can be like a little uh, drop-down menu or a big map or whatever. They have their own state, and uh, then the state is reactive, and when the direct uh, state changes, it will directly apply it to the UI. Components can also share a state, and you can also have a global state via so-called uh, composables or using a custom library. And in open layers, every uh, open layers object has also its uh, own state. And uh, so, for example, a map has a state, uh, a view has a state, layers their own state, and you can uh, react on those states. For example, if a map um, is clicked or a layer is added or removed, you can uh, react on this via this um, events. You uh, uh, have the name of the event, and then you can have the callback function. And then something is happening, and I try to combine this. And uh, I checked there's some other libraries before. So there's Vue 3 open layers, which is more like a really big component uh, library. And um, it is also nice, but I wanted to have something more lightweight. Then there's also WebView, which is more is like an ex uh, application template, which already has the connection built in. But I wa still wanted to have something more lightweight, so I created this uh, little open source library, obviously, and which connects the state of open layers and Vue. And yeah, so how does it work? So I have a so-called composable, which reacts on these uh, open layers events. And then uh, it creates a view state, uh, which are updated on all these events. And this view state in this composable can be imported by all of the um, view components. And this, the, the state is globally accessible and all uh, components can use it, but you can still use all the open layers functions directly. So this is how it looks like. Um, it's a demo application where you can see how it's uh, implemented. Let's see if that works. Uh, yeah, so here I have a map component, here I have an um, info component, and I can view the map only and do something, and then I still only have the info component, and everything is uh, changing here as well, so I can zoom in or out, and then it will apply directly to the map, even though the map is not shown, but it's all uh, the state is uh, synced in the background via this uh, global composable. All right, then here. Good, here's some links, and then I'm finished. Thanks for your attention.